back outside now as we brace for that winter storm headed our way. Here's a look at one of our M dot cameras. I 96 and Grand River traffic moving smoothly right now, but as that storm starts to approach, the evening drive could get really dicey. Exactly, and you've been here all week hearing about the, how the storm has been evolving. It started as maybe more rain or mix, and now we're just looking at mostly snow. So when we switch gears and say snow, and for this long duration, we're talking about heavy snow. A lot of moisture packed in this system too, so it is going to be a very heavy, wet type of scenario with the snow. 5 to about 11 o'clock or so, expecting the heaviest snowfall rates within that time frame. Snowfall rates of an inch to two inches per hour will be possible. My advice to you, if you can get home early today, it's really good choice because the longer you wait and out on the roads toward the tail end of the evening drive, it's going to get messy. Look at this system, just enormous and a whole lot of rain to the south with flooding concerns as it heads to the north. And again, we're on the northern fringes of the system. It is turning into snow as it's beginning to push in a northerly fashion. So just beginning to move up toward the I-94 corridor here shortly and then it'll continue to spread northward through the course of the afternoon. 36 degrees in Ann Arbor, 29 the wind chill, 34 in Pontiac. We have some colder temperatures to the north, 33 in Lapeer. And we know temperatures play a huge role in systems like this. Even a degree movement could be a little bit more rain or sleet trying to mix in versus snow. But right now it looks like temperatures may even back down a degree or two in the afternoon. And that's why we're going to go with the snow scenario. East winds are going to increase. We're looking at winds about 10 to 15 miles per hour right now, increasing after 3 p.m. Wind gusts 35, and we could even see some 40 mile per hour wind gusts in combination with the snow coming down. So we talk about the roads and the road conditions this afternoon. As the snow gets underway, of course, the roads are going to initially be wet, and then as these rates pick up after 5 or 6 o'clock, we'll start to see the roads uh, deteriorating, strong winds come into play, and of course, tonight in the overnight hours, snow-covered roads will be a huge issue. We look at our hour by hour forecast. This is between 1 and 2 o'clock. So here shortly, Adrian to Monroe, the I-94 corridor. We move the timeline up to about 3 o'clock from Jackson, Ann Arbor to Detroit, southward, getting the snow. Keep in mind, just in the southeast corner of Monroe County, may see a little bit of a mix. It's going to be close to that state line. Everywhere else, it's snowing. 430 widespread snow for the evening rush hour. This is when we're expecting some of the heaviest snow. And again, clipping the southeast corner of Metro Detroit may be more of that messy mix the further south you are, further north, of course, all snow. This will start to taper off around midnight, 1 o'clock. We'll see the tail end of it, and then we can begin again to clean things up. Looking at the snowfall amounts, a very wide area between that 8 and 12 inch margin. This is all kind of shifted a little bit further southeast than a previous day or so. 6 to 8 from Port Huron all the way down through the city of Detroit, maybe into southern Lenawee County. And then, of course, kind of eating away at those snow amounts will be that mix down into Monroe County. Still, the question mark is how far that mix line goes. Right now, we're keeping it uh, to the south through Monroe. Now, if we look into the weekend, temperatures are in the 40s. We can certainly recover. It's going to be a quiet weekend. We even hit 50 on Monday.